North Carolina public school teachers can start taking paid parental leave at the start of the school year. They previously had to take sick days or unpaid leave if they wanted the time off. The State Board of Education adopted the rules today after the law went into effect July 1st. WRL's Carly Haynes joining us live now after talking to educators about what this means for them and whether they think this is enough support. Carly. This provision that offers public school employees paid parental leave is under the same law that restricts abortion after 12 weeks of pregnancy. And while some educators say they're satisfied with this provision, the few that we spoke with today say they wish it weren't under this umbrella law and they say there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Turquoise Lejeune Parker is a Durham teacher and a mom. When she had her daughter two years ago, she took maternity leave using PTO. I was hesitant to go past that because I had to use my own time to pay for that leave. She tells WRL she was lucky she even had days to spare. Because of the amount of time and investment we have to make to even earn leave. But this is changing. Thursday, the State Board of Education set rules for paid parental leave. Public school employees can now take up to two months of paid leave after having a baby if they've been in their school division for at least a year. Especially since our profession is largely women, uh, this means that is a great sign for for many of our educators across the state. The North Carolina Association of Educators president says many states already offer this. Plus, educators were previously excluded from a 2019 state executive order that gave paid parental leave to only some state employees. To be last to get um, access to paid parental leave does a disservice to the profession. She thinks more can be done to keep good teachers around, like lifting pay. Our state continues to lag behind our southern counterparts as well as other states across the nation in making sure that we have highly compensated staff across the board. That same message being brought forward by teachers like Parker. Let's raise some pay as well. Two things can be true. And once again, these are just temporary rules to get things started. Permanent rules will come at a later date through a lengthier rulemaking process. Lena. Carly Haynes reporting live for us in Cary. Thank you.